Midnight Oil, No Reaction. This is in standard tuning. CBT guitar lesson for Damien. Um, one of many of the Midnight Oil CBT guitar lessons coming. So let's uh, let's jump right in. <laughs> Okay, so the basic idea on this is you have kind of these three chords happening. This E, C, and A, C sharp. Ascending and descending, changing strings like a 1-4-5 progression, and then coming back. So with a few little minor uh, details in between. So it's palm mute open E twice into an E major, which is 2-2-1 two, two, A, D, G. Rest, open E, all the E strings are palm muted up top, and then 3 2 open A D G to open E to 4 2 2 A D G, and that's going to be barred this way, and then third or fourth finger on the C sharp. Rest, so you have rest, back to the open E, hit this again, open E to C major, 3 2 open 1. Twice. So it's open strum, open strum. That's kind of the the foundation here. You have three times. Third time no star. The star is just the very last chord. And he throws in this little little uh, bridge to connect as he changes strings. So the third time would go. Three, four, E, and then open A is going to be palm muted every time. Twice into a second fret D, G, and B. That's our A major. So it's followed by two open A's. It's a three, two, D, G, open A to four, two, D, G. So it's really similar to the last one we did. Open A to four, two, D, G. Open A to three, two, D, G. Open A to 3A, no palm mute. So, and then right back to the open E twice, E chord. Open E palm mute twice, 3 2 open A D G, open E, and then 4 2 2 A D G. Sounds like this. Rest, open E palm mute, right back to this chord. Open E palm mute, back to the C, 3 2 open, A D G. Open E palm mute and then three E half step bend. So let's play it up to there. Open A, no palm mute, and then two times with palm mute. Open A twice. This is all palm muted again. And you follow that same formula of three two and four two. And then descending with it. Open three, open on the end. So that ending is. It's important to subgroup those parts. So let's see. There you go. Twenty seconds in, we hit section one B. And this is an F major full bar chord, so you're going to bar everything fret 1, 3A, 3D, 2G. It's down, up, down, up. And then move it a whole step up. Top four strings, but if you hit the E and B, it's fine. Mute down, and then 5, 7, 7, 7, A, D, and G with an up. And then down, up, down. Move up to 10, 12, 12, 12. Down, up, down, up. Mute down, move that a whole step back to 8, 10, 10, 10. So it's, there's another, you hear me talking about subgroups a lot. Um, that's a good one. To get the, those are the things that the ear doesn't typically hear outright, but it creates part of the feel of the rhythm. Just like this part that went. Oops. And then an A minor.
minor seven. You don't expect this, and that's the beauty of Midnight Oil. Stuff you don't expect. Open A, 2D, open one open. So it's like. Two times, second time, no star, which will take you right about to the middle. And then go past the double dots to this. You're doing this, uh, the major chord, the suspended, back to the major, up, down, up. And then down. Then he goes into this. Then F major, 1, B, 2, G, and 3, D. In that order, um, five times. Then you hit repeats at 32 seconds in. At 56 seconds, you'll end up just going open B, 2, G, and 3, D five times. Very cool. Then the solo comes in at 59 seconds in. All right. Switch to the treble pickup. I had it in between because it's a little bassier for the solo. It's definitely, you'll notice more treble in the EQ. So I'm pretty sure he switches to the bridge pickup there. And let's just kind of moderate tempo go through the solo. It starts on seventh fret on the D string. You go. Let's do all that again. Do it again. Or right, start with the seven. Then we have oops, five pull three on the E and then five E, two four on the G. Interesting. String skipping, two strings. Top of page three is fifth fret G and B. So it's oops. So we have a minute seven, you're gonna go like this. Five D slide to seven. So four hammer five G. Short rest as you do this, arpeggio. Love this. This is my favorite part of the song, actually. This little riff. It's three pull two on the E. Three B, two G pull open. Four three D A. Just something about the melodic content of that. And then I open A, you go into this. 14 D, 12 14, 12 14 G. 12 14 bend. Okay, then we go to the D string, 14 13 12, slide 10. 12 10, and then 12 A. Another good subgroup. Four, five, six, eight notes are good little subgroups. Minute 13, we got 12G middle finger, or third finger actually. 1213B, 14G. So 12 is sliding to 14. 1213B, 14G. That's another subgroup. Okay, next part. 1213 pull 12. 1412 GB down up. 15 pull 12, 13 pull 12 on the B. And then 14, 12 GB down up. So that whole run. 13 pull 12. 15, 12, 13 slide. It's a cool little run. Do it again. Ah. And then 12 G, third finger slide 14, and then go 12, 13, B, 12, E. Another cool little short five note riff. 15, bend release on the E. 12, 15, B, bend release. Oops, yeah. 14, G, bend release. 12, G, 14, D, slide. So here's that run. 
may have to experiment with fingering in that. Where he chooses to bend is pretty cool. Right there, particularly. Great subgroup. 5D slide to 7, 4, 5G. That's it for that subgroup. Another arpeggio. 3 pull 2 E. 3B, 2 open G, 4D. 1 pull open E. So when you get to the one pull open E, then go one B open G, three two open D, three two A open E. Here's what that whole whole thing sounds like. Minute 23 in, I had to kind of, this wasn't super consistent, so I had to kind of generalize it. It'll go 6 E and B, and then 5th fret E and B, down up mute, and then 3rd thir fret barred, down stroke, and then up mute. And then 10th fret E and B twice, down up, and then go. 9 to 12. So, so you have very funky. But he does it two times and then 14th fret G and B. Those look easy, they sound cool. And they sound easy, but they're actually hard. Barring third finger over the 14th fret G and B and doing these big bends with them, well, that B string is very likely going to want to slip out. So if you back it with the middle and index and push into the neck, you'll be able to keep that pitch and hopefully keep that B string from dropping out. Minute 28, we have some repeats. And then solo number two, two minutes, 20 seconds in, 2G. 5 slide 7D, 4 5G, 7D. That's a repeat of something earlier. And then start the first three notes the same. End with a 5B. So it's. Then then back to the first one. Actually, no, just end on the 5G for the last one. And then you do this. Yeah. My favorite part. That's a 3 pull 2 E, 3 B, 2 pull open G, 4 3 D A vibrato. And there you have it, another really cool song from the Oils, more coming.